working toward closure. Everybody knows it. You know, the employees all know it. For me, I'm preparing for it, and I know many of my friends are as well. Successful closure is a key part of the life cycle of any mining operation. Taking care of employees, either through retention, training, or retirement, is a key consideration, along with providing helpful information for those who want to remain in the area. I've been here about six years, and we've transferred uh, dozens of employees to other sites within Kinross to date. And I think as part of closure, we'll continue to see employees uh, taking an interest in Kinross, seeing the value of Kinross, and making a, a transition to another site within the company. When I originally hired on here, I knew that the mine life uh, for Kettle River was very short. Um, we were still looking at about three years at that point. I was invited to go to the Fort Knox operation. Um, we, or I spent about two weeks up there. We're definitely considering it. It was good to get a chance to go up there and see the operation in a little bit more detail than you would typically get for a job interview. Actually, after going to see the area, I decided that I really liked it and want to move up there sometime. And if there's any job openings when this is done, definitely. Others are being trained in new positions. They sent me up to Fort Knox, did five, five and a half weeks up there, ran truck, did some drilling, got to meet a lot of good folks, good site, good people. It's definitely a big consideration. We love Ken Ross, would like to stay with Ken Ross, so it's on the, it's on the table for discussion. They're very good at what they do. We have a very high level of talent, especially here at the Kettle River Buckhorn operation. Yeah, we had the choice between Round Mountain, Nevada, or you know Fairbanks, Alaska, where Fort Knox is. So we chose to go to Round Mountain and just to meet the people down there. It was great to see. But I thought it was great that they offered, that it just worked out great. The work was great, the location was uh, kind of in, in the middle of nowhere, kind of flat desert land where I'm used to nice green uh, forests in the mountains, you know. But uh, you can adapt to it. I mean, there's a, there's a golf course there, so I'd have to take up some golf lessons. We definitely would consider Round Mountain when we're done here at Kettle River. But there's also a very large component that will live here and retire here. Ken Ross has done a good job of keeping us informed. Yeah, retirement might be the answer. I'll probably stay here when the company moves on. For those thinking about remaining in the area, Ken Ross is conducting regular community business and entrepreneurial training seminars. We've been hosting a series of trainings to, to help the community transition. Uh, so those have been focused on um, business marketing, fin how to get financing, um, business planning, those types of things. And we've had, on average, 50 people from the community come to those trainings regularly. We're trying really hard to do what we can to help the employees figure out what they want to do uh, next. Within Kinross, these employees represent the culture and the values that we're constantly striving for as a company. It's been really nice to see in a company um, taking this much care to really help not just the employees, but the community. I think that um, Kinross is handling this with very much eyes open as far as being sure that they can do everything that they can to retain their talent. You know, the value that they place on their employees, I think, is world class. I've worked for a lot of companies. And I would have to say, honestly, by far, Ken Ross has treated me and my family the best out of everybody I've ever worked for.